Welcome to Community Forum, a community service of CAN TV. I'm Juan Carlos Hernandez. Most of us are carrying a camera in our hand and we record many moments of our lives, but how can we develop our photography into something more, into an art? Today our guests will share how Chicago Photography Center works to foster photography as an art throughout our city. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to start with, um, by talking to each of you about uh, you and your work at the Photography Center. Uh, let's start with you. Uh, Karen Egerer. Yes. Okay, I was worried about pronouncing that correctly. <laughs> but uh, tell us about yourself, uh, please, and how you became part of the Chicago Photography Center. Uh, about five years ago, mm -hmm. um, I joined the board at the Chicago Photography Center, mm -hmm. and uh, I've, I've been on the board since then. I have an interest in photography, mm -hmm. and uh, not, I'm not a professional photographer, but I think it's uh, a, an excellent vehicle for expressing um, a variety of different things. Mm -hmm. You're not a professional photographer, but right. do you do it on? Yes, I take pictures. You take yes. pictures? <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you ever aim for an artistic side? or? Uh, I take pictures of things that I find interesting, and if uh, Such it as? looks a little interesting. Well, one of the things that mm -hmm. I do is uh, I live near the Brown Line, and mm -hmm. so if I go down a, s a particular street where the Brown Line is on ground, on mm -hmm. the street level, and I'm the first one there waiting for the train to go by, I'll take pictures with my uh, smartphone. Mm. And I uh, have done a little series uh, of those images. And actually, we ha I belong to a group at the Chicago Photography Center called Women in Focus. And we had our first exhibit uh, a couple of weeks ago. And I did a little series of my uh, L trains. OK, we'll talk, certainly talk more about that yeah. and, and that group. Uh, our second guest today is Stephen E. Gross. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, and I forgot about your, your middle initial, but. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, tell us about yourself and how you became part of the Chicago Photography Center, please. Um, I moved on to Lincoln Avenue, mm -hmm. uh, my studio and home, and it was just uh, a mile away from Chicago Photography Center. And mm -hmm. I thought, gee, you know, I miss teaching. Mm -hmm. uh, I asked, so uh, let's get more involved with the center. Mm -hmm. So I went in and talked to the director at the time and uh, started teaching a wedding photography boot camp. Mm. Uh, I did that, and then I started teaching the advanced photography class, and then I was asked to be on the board. So uh, I'm not teaching there anymore, so uh, I'm on their board. Okay. and. Um how did you come into the world of photography? Uh, photography, I started out as most people do. It's a hobby. I, mm. I, I love the camera. I was always taking photographs. I, I would actually take, you know, I was in the military and I would take my camera to work. They allowed you, allowed you to do that? Uh, they did. Mm. Uh, I, I, I do remember one day I took the work, put it in a locker, and I was just about to head out to lunch and I saw smoke. Mm -hmm. rising. I go, whoa, what's that? Mm -hmm. Grabbed my camera, ran out to where it was, and it was the Bader Meinhof gang who mm -hmm. blew up the officers club. Oh, wow. So what, uh, tell us about that. This was where? Where did this uh, come? Frankfurt, West Germany. Okay. Uh, at Rhein-Main Air Base. Mm -hmm. And a group blew up the officers club there? Yeah. You know, terrorists, basically. Mm -hmm. Wow. And you were, you were able to shoot that? I was uh, there photographing it, mm -hmm. and you know, I was jumping on the fire engines. It was <laughs> such an adrenaline rush. It was great. And, uh, yeah, they're telling me, oh, get away, get away, get away. I mm -hmm. said, oh, wing history, wing history, which is a, a part of the military where they document everything. Mm -hmm. Someone writes about it, and I was doing the photography. So they let me shoot. Mm -hmm. uh, and I ran out of film, got some film from a German photographer who came on site. Wow. And it, it, was, it was exciting. So... That experience, uh, those experiences in Germany led you to? Uh, that and, you know, if you've been in the military, mm -hmm. you know how they like to control you. Mm -hmm. They like to control your time and everything mm -hmm. you do. Uh, I realized I didn't want to work for anybody like mm -hmm. that in the future. No cubicle, no employer. <laughs> so I. Wise, wise, uh, wise man. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I just figured, gee, uh, I want to work for myself. I love photography. Mm -hmm. Can I make a living at it? Well, later that day, I walked into 
a bookstore, mm -hmm. and there were images plastered everywhere. Mm -hmm. You had posters, you had books, you had magazines, you had mm -hmm. calendars, photographs, mm -hmm. photographs, photographs, and I just thought, someone is making their living at it. Why can't <laughs> I? <laughs> That's true. So I finished my tour of duty, uh, took a year off and traveled, and then went back or came to Chicago mm -hmm. and studied at Columbia College. Wow, wow. That's awesome, and it's interesting to always hear what sparks uh, a passion, what sparks a, a change in life. Uh, tell me about what uh, helped bring about the the passion that helped create the Chicago Photography Center. Some of that history uh, that uh, I'm sure you don't know every single little detail, but whatever in, uh, history you may be able to share. The uh, Chicago Photography Center grew out of a uh, community photography program. Mm -hmm that was uh, run by uh, the Jane Addams Hull House Center on, uh, on Broadway near Belmont mm. about 35 years ago, I think. Mm. And when Hull House Association uh, ended that program, all of that whole community center program, there's a gym there now. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Because the photography program was based on this idea of creating a community of photographers, this community of volunteers uh, looked for a new space because they wanted to continue the, f the photography program independent of any other organization as its own organization. So a group of volunteers found uh, the space on Lincoln Avenue where we used to be housed. Lincoln and? Uh, by Lincoln, Belmont, and Ashland. We're no longer there, but right. that's where um, the volunteers found that space. It was in horrendous condition. It was an old bank building and used for other things. Uh, but it was so it was totally raw. And wow. uh, all the volunteers worked diligently, hard, <laughs> sweat <laughs> and tears to, mm -hmm. to put it in the shape that it became about that was about twelve years ago when they, they did that and uh, mm. create continued to offer the same kind of photography program that was offered over at the Jane Addams Center. Mm -hmm. and, but then as the, the ideas grew, photography changed. You didn't have to have a dark room anymore and this right, digital right. thing came into existence. <laughs> um, that was in incorporated and then uh, it grew to incorporate other interests that people started expressing. Why don't we offer street photography or photojournalism or mm. wedding photography? And mm -hmm. so that's how the program grew. And just this January, we moved to a new space uh, on Belmont, near Broadway, kind of around the corner of where it all started. So. Wow. Well, and um, so it's convenient to get to. Um, yeah. but, but you mentioned a couple of words that, um, that strike, uh, strike me as, as curious. Um, I think when we think of creative work, we don't often think, we al often think individual. We don't think community. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you create community at Chicago Photography Center? How does that happen, and uh, what fruits do you see from that? Um, well, it's a question I, for both of you. Yeah. One of the ways I think that we uh, continue to create the community is through some of the programs that we have. One is uh, women in f f well, it's women in photography. We call mm -hmm. it Women in Focus. It's just a, a new project that we're involved with. Um, the women have met about five times now, I think, and once a month. Mm -hmm. The uh, s the second Monday of every month okay. at CPC, uh, women photographers meet. So that that's creating a, a community of people who share ideas and share their photography. Uh, the other is wine and critique on the f mm -hmm. on the. Uh, Second, uh, on the Sec third, on third the third Friday, Friday of, of every third month. Mm -hmm. Usually. Usually. Mm -hmm. They have third. one coming up on the 12th. Of this oh, this no, I was out of town for it. Yeah. yeah. This, right. no, this, uh, well, so this Friday. Okay. But um, it's the w uh, third Friday of every month. Okay, we'll, we'll keep it to that just so our, our yeah. viewers know yeah. that it's every month. Even during the holiday season, yeah, that happens? Or? Well, that's a good question because mm -hmm. it, it also answers the idea of community. <laughs> <laughs> because, uh, the, there's kind of a core group of people who have been attending the Wine and Critique. And what Wine and Critique is, is a mm -hmm. peer review. You bring your photographs, mm -hmm. if they're hard copies, you share it on the table, or you bring a, a thumb drive and everybody looks at your photographs <coughs> on the screen, and people critique it. 
peers, your your peer critiques. So you show it and they destroy it? Sometimes. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we like to keep it positive. <laughs> right. Okay. But there are some people who Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely positive, but yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's creating a sense of community too. Mm -hmm. um, Wine and Critique just had an ex opening on the twelfth uh, last mm -hmm. uh, in uh, in September, mm -hmm. and uh, it's the first time that they had an exhibit. And the nice thing about even enforcing this community is that the the people in the exhibit prepare the walls for hanging the exhibit, hang the exhibit, the whole shebang. So when you ask mm -hmm. if on the third. Uh, Friday of every month, even the holidays. Mm -hmm. Yes, because the people in that community want to get together, even if it is a holiday, unless it's you know, unless it's Christmas Day, <laughs> then right. probably not. But right. But even then, with all the busyness and all the distractions, people say, "No, we still need to get together." More often than not, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. they do. Uh, so, tell me more about this group, uh, Women in Focus, and how that came together, and. Uh, because that's um, it's interesting to me because I, I think a lot of times, going back to the idea of community and individuals, I, I, I see a lot of groups that come together, but not necessarily just for women or specifically for men, but especially for women. I don't see that too often. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, um, oddly enough, many of professional photographers are men. <laughs> and. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So this is one effort to get women photographers, uh, get their work out there, get, uh, be have people become more familiar with uh, some really interesting photography done by women. This, this all came about because when we moved to our new space, we had an exhibit called New Beginnings. Mm. And it was an open competition to be exhibited. And at the opening, uh, this woman, who had a couple photographs in the exhibit. I hadn't known, didn't know her before. I started talking to her and we were talking and she said that she used to live in Atlanta and they had a women photography group and mm -hmm. she'd love to start one here. And I said, well, we've always been talking about this at Chicago Photography Center. Why don't we just do this? And mm -hmm. so because, uh, because Tiffany came to us with the idea and we had similar ideas, we just, said let's do it and we did it and mm. uh, we are uh, we've been sharing ideas some women who have their own studio have invited others to their studio to see how they work and mm -hmm. uh, we're having our first field trip <laughs> uh, yeah. coming up we're going down to Montrose Harbor where the bird sanctuary is mm -hmm. and uh, take photographs there and perhaps critique them when we're finished mm -hmm. And uh, you as a photographer, what have uh, you gotten, what type of feedback have you gotten about your work uh, in these sessions and in these meetings with these other uh, other women? We haven't had our, uh, a critique you of our work yet. Okay. We've just been, I think, it's, I think it's been five times that we've met so far. Part of it was discussing the exhibit and getting ready for the exhibit. So mm -hmm. this field trip that we're doing will present the first opportunity afterwards to critique okay. our work. That's awesome. And um, what's the uh, third Friday? It's called Wine and Critique? Wine and Critique. Okay, tell me about that, uh, Stephen, please. Uh, that is it's spearheaded by Warren what's Pearlstein. Pearlstein. Mm -hmm. And uh, people bring thumb drives or prints, mostly digital. And wine. And, and wine. Yeah. That's okay. the cost of admission. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Wine, beer, they have libations. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's like a friendly slideshow. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, people can show their work, talk about their work as mm -hmm. well as their experience, and meet. Mm -hmm. Why is it, uh, well, I think you've touched on it, uh, but why do you think that community is important in, in the development of, a, of an art or a craft? You need to meet with peers, I feel. Mm -hmm. That's uh, another one of the reasons I became more involved with the Chicago Photography Center, it's because, you know, Self-employed, you're usually working on your own. Mm -hmm. You might have some employees, but it's solitary. Mm -hmm. A lot of it's solitary. And I'm a people person. I need people. Okay. okay. So, so that, that's the only cost. Um, well, we can't really talk about the cost of admission, but it, if people want more information, they can look on your website, oh right? Oh, yeah. 
Right. Um, one of the other things in talking about community and um, coming out of isolation is the Chicago Photography Center also does outreach into overlooked areas and underserved areas in our city. Mm -hmm. Tell me about how that happens, please. We mm -hmm. have uh, have had a, an outreach program for 10 years, I, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. One of our board members, Betsy Lent, she uh, kind of organizes and manages that project. Um, and that has, um, that entails working with people from various um, shelters, um, other community organizations. By shelters, you mean what? Uh, shelters for women, uh, mm -hmm. s some homeless shelters. And uh, Betsy gets together a group of volunteers who, uh, who are amateur photographers, some mm -hmm. professional photographers, and they uh, get a group of people from one of the shelters that they're working with to go out on a field trip mm -hmm. on a Saturday to take pictures downtown or wherever mm -hmm. they decide to go and uh, help them compose their image, help them with the camera. And um, then once, at least once a year, we have an exhibit of their work. Mm. Uh, we've also uh, have had a uh, After School Matters photography program. One of our instructors, mm -hmm. uh, Jonathan Michael Johnson, has been the instructor on film photography. Uh, After School Matters, um, has worked and Jonathan have worked with these teenagers for about three or four years now, and I think he has a really good core group of teens who mm. he's turned on to film photography, and they have had exhibits as well. Um, film photography, that's with a roll of With a film. roll of film, yeah. <laughs> Where do you find that? Do you still buy film? You can still buy film. Mm. Wow, I'm, I'm curious because I don't, I don't see it anymore. I mean, where do you get it? Uh, most of the pro shops have it. Oh, pro shops, okay. Yeah. I got, well, I'm just going to Walgreens expecting <laughs> to find it. You will, won't, usually won't find no, it at Walgreens. Yeah. Okay, and this after school matters, uh, what school is it in, or is it in several schools? No, the, uh, the after, w uh, Chicago Photography Center, mm -hmm. uh, since we moved, mm -hmm. um, right now we, we do not have an after school matters program, okay. but uh, up until last December we had an after school matters program. Mm -hmm. Um, and CPC was the location for it. Okay, okay. Uh, so it, uh, the program drew students from a number of different high schools. So they would come there, you yeah. wouldn't go out to the schools? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, what if I'm a, a young student or somebody without a whole lot of money and I'm, I, wanna, I want to participate, I want to, you know, I'm, photography just does something for me. I'm, do I need to go and purchase a bunch of expensive equipment? Okay, is my uh, is my cell phone, uh, my smartphone enough? Um, what do you recommend in such cases? Well, the uh, the fundamentals mm -hmm. of digital photography requires that you have a an S S a DSLR camera, mm -hmm. such as not necessarily with all those lenses on it, <laughs> okay. but uh, something more than a smartphone. And okay. uh, but we have offered and will continue to offer classes in smartphone photography. Oh, you do have separately that. from fundamentals of digital photography okay. and fundamentals of film photography. Okay. So um, I have to find equipment then. Is what yes. Okay. okay. Is there any recommendations you make to people that uh, would like to, you know, go out and find a camera at a good price? I'm not saying to tell us the stores, but what can, what can somebody do uh, in, in a case like that? Well, uh, some of the basics, you want a camera that can mm -hmm. capture a raw file. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A raw file is pretty critical mm -hmm. to put in Photoshop and, you know, you can do pretty much anything with a raw file. Mm -hmm. JPEG is processed. Okay. Okay. So you want the raw? The raw. The raw. Okay. That's the key. And, um, but actually, mm -hmm. go ahead. the best camera is the one you have. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, your cell phone is better than no camera at all. Personally, I, I carry a good camera around 99% mm -hmm. of the time. I don't use my cell phone much mm -hmm. for photography, but it's better than nothing. Okay, so what we're <laughs> I'm sure some people are saying, well, then how do I take better pictures with my cell phone? I'm not going to go buy a camera and I'm 
not necessarily that interested. What would you just tell a person? Well, without seeing what they want to improve, mm -hmm. a good rule of thought is get closer. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, the, the subject, the interest is there. It's mm -hmm. not there. Mm -hmm. Unless that particular scene dictate, dictates that it needs to be overall. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think one of the mm -hmm. uh, fundamental things that people could learn, uh, and it doesn't come naturally all the time, one of the things they could learn at the Chicago Photography Center is composing an image. Mm. Uh, you know, I think some people have a tendency to look in that square and to center. If you're taking your photograph, you're in the middle of that. Right. That's not always, you know, the best position for a, a portrait, for example, or mm -hmm. whatever image you're shooting. You know, there's a whole other part of the square. You know, right, that. right, right. And so just talking about these things that, you know, you may not think of naturally or, mm -hmm. uh, you know, just, and also by, again, working, learning with other people, your mm -hmm. peers, and looking at the photographs of other, what other photographers have done. Mm -hmm. Tell me, uh, well, you, I asked that because I also wanted to ask about the different workshops. You touched on some of them, but you offer uh, workshops at the Chicago Photography Center. Uh, what are those, uh, how do those look? Um, are, do you have something for beginners? You mentioned some of them, but I'm sure that's for more experienced people like wedding photography, that's for people that might be already working in that area. But, but tell me about the others, please. Well, there's all levels. There's mm -hmm. basic to advanced photography courses. Well, what's a basic uh, uh, workshop look like? Um, basically, where you learn what mm -hmm. the shutter is, mm -hmm. okay. aperture, lens and and how it works mm -hmm. how it captures it and what you have to do with it and then you move how does it and then you, as you go along in the workshops how does how does that keep changing or what do you keep adding to those uh, well technology Techno is constantly changing mm -hmm. uh, Photoshop Lightroom you know it's not all it's not about the camera today it's about the post Mm. It's about the post-processing, about what you can do with it once you have it. Once you've captured that image, what's next? And the people that go through the workshops, they are also able to exhibit their work at the, at the, sh at the CPC? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's actually mm -hmm. a seven-week class. It's a seven-week class. Not a workshop. So we have workshops. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that we call boot camps. Yeah. Boot camps. But you also have classes. Yeah, the, like mm -hmm. the fundamentals, intermediate, advanced. They're seven-week classes. Okay, and but long any longer courses or like a semester's length? No, no. Okay. Um, now uh, one question: We're we're getting uh, close to the uh, end of the time here. Um, how often do these workshops take place? Uh, just a couple more questions about that, so our viewers will know. Uh, uh, and do they sign up online. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a new session starting every eight weeks. So it's mm -hmm. seven weeks of class, one week off, and then another seven week okay. class session. Uh, so so th yeah. there's never a really long wait? No. And no. it's all year long? Yes. Wow, okay, that's great to know. Um, I'm curious, so do you see photography as an art or a craft or both? I see it as both. Mm -hmm. Tell me why. Well, a craft, you hone. Mm -hmm. So you're constantly honing your skills in photography. Mm -hmm. And you? Yeah, I w definitely both because uh, it is a craft that people practice mm -hmm. and uh, it is uh, an art form as well. I mean, yeah. Okay, one more question. Your favorite spots for photography in the city? S favorite spot? Spots. Yeah, where do you, where do you go or wh where do you feel most where you have? do your best work in the city? Is it everywhere or, um, or is it the lakefront, the downtown core? I love downtown mm -hmm. by the river, Wacker Drive. I, you know, I pretty much carry my camera everywhere. Yeah. And I'm always shooting. I'm in a car, I'm shooting out the window. <laughs> Never gotten pulled over for that? Um, <laughs> if I'm at a, I, I'm stopped usually, oh. but I have shot. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. This January, I was coming back from a shoot mm -hmm. in a blizzard, and the car the next to me and the car next to him, mm -hmm. both people <laughs> were on their phone texting. Mm. 
Driving. Uh, driving, texting on I-94. Right. So in I in a blizzard. In a blizzard. Wow. To, and I, I photograph a lot of people texting. It's usually most of the time I'm not driving, and I'm all I'm at the ready. I've got a collection of people driving and texting. It's crazy. It's insane. It's mm. sad. Mm. Right. Dangerous. Yeah, right. Very. Right. Very. And you know. I guess I'm doing the same thing because I have a camera in my hand and I'm shooting them. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. But <laughs> most of the time you're not driving. Right. right. And you, what's, what's been, my you're favorite, not a professional, you've said, but. Uh, my favorite spots to yeah. take pictures, anywhere where there's uh, abandoned buildings and rust. Really? Yes. <laughs> so w where have you found some of that? Uh, there's, uh, there's a, uh, there was, I guess mm -hmm. it's gone now, the mm -hmm. uh, shopping mall on the far south side in uh, uh, Hazelcrest, I think it was. Mm -hmm. I forget the name of the mall right now, but uh, that was an abandoned shopping mall, huge, mm -hmm. giant. Yeah, it's where it, um, the Blues, Blues Brothers, Brothers was mm -hmm. filmed. Huge shopping mall, just abandoned, sitting there, and it's, it you can get some very interesting uh, photographs that way. And, you know, if you go down to certain parts of the city, you will find uh, abandonment in all sorts of places. Mm. And some are protected by guards with guns who tell you you can't take photographs, but then you tell them I'm, you're on a public sidewalk mm -hmm. and I can take photographs on a public sidewalk too. So, Well, thanks so much for coming out today and sharing a lot of what you do with us. Our pleasure. Yeah. Our pleasure. Thank you for having us. And to you, thanks for joining us. Community Forum is a community service of CAN-TV. If your nonprofit organization would like to work with CAN-TV, call 312-738-1400 and ask for nonprofit services. Tune into Community Forum for local issues and concerns every Saturday at 7.30 p.m. on CAN-TV 21. I'm Juan Carlos Hernandez. Thank you for joining us.